buddy. I'm gonna go see if we can hoe again. Um, corn's up, looks really good. So just making sure that we get all the weeds. Uh, I don't want any uh, weeds taken over. Um, I've got a few that are still in that white hair stage. Um, we'll see if we can take those out and see what we can do. settings from the last time I towed uh, but we're doing a really good job I think it's doing pretty good I'm still catching some of the root balls but overall um, I'm able to slow it down a little bit going about 11 and a half to 12 mile an hour still have to watch uh, if one of those rotary hoe wheels gets caught I have to stop and clean it off but for the most part it's doing pretty well I want to show you what it looks like we're doing pretty good um, it's pretty clean I'm pulling some corn out every once in a while but that's just kind of how it's going to be um, aggressive enough to get the weeds and sometimes you're going to pull corn out there's one right there pulled out for the most part it's it's doing all right i'm really starting to get excited uh, it was definitely a sigh of relief when the corn came up and, and I can row it. So, definitely a sigh of relief there. The settings that I changed were I angled, um, I tipped it back a little bit. And if you don't have a hydraulic three point or third length, I highly recommend getting one. Um, you can tip that back or forward hydraulically instead of getting out and um, unscrewing it manually with your hands. Um, just makes adjustments so much easier. The other thing was I took it down another notch. Uh, this is where you raise it up or lower it. So I just went one notch lower and um, definitely doing a, um, a good job. So those were the settings that I changed um, from the last time I hoed to this time. Just got the end rows done and jumped in my truck and it starts to pour. So just got that finished up. Drive back the lane here and see what it looks like. Beans are looking pretty good. Didn't rain much, there's still dry dirt out there. Get out and check the beans real quick. Some of them are getting leaves on them. Before they 
they have leaves. Uh, these are what they call cotyledon, and you don't want to break these off. Uh, let's see if I can find one like this. This one here, you wouldn't want to break these off by rotary hoeing, or else it'll kill the bean. So I always want to wait until there's. Uh, Soybean leaves um, are usually in, in threes, so you call them a trifoliate. So um, you want to wait until it's got first trifoliate before you want to hoe them. Uh, that just minimizes any any damage to the beans. They're looking pretty good. So uh, maybe in a, a day or two, we can get out here and hoe these beans. And that little shower really made the green corn pop through. It's looking pretty nice. Thought we'd go out here and just check it. See how we... Always rocks to pick up. weeds but we'll just try to take those out with a cultivator and I just wanted to show you um, the clover that I frost seeded in my wheat I think it's looking pretty good so this will be um, this is second year transition so it will be uh, ready to certify organic corn next spring. So that clover will give us um, nitrogen for the corn next spring. So uh, I'll definitely let you know how the wheat does. Um, it's kind of thin in spots. It was planted pretty late. Um, it's actually planted the end of October. So, uh, but there are, you know, it does look pretty good. Um, there are some smaller heads, but uh, when I had wheat two years ago over there, uh, it made 67 with two ton of chicken litter per acre. So um, I put two and a half ton on this. So um, looking forward to see what it does. Well, I think that's all I'm gonna do today work on some stuff around the house so thank you guys for watching again um, comment below and subscribe I'd really appreciate it um, just tell me what you think of these videos